There was a time when people lived comfortably in Florida without air conditioning. And a University of Florida architecture professor, Ron Hase, is studying those conditions that made it possible. During a recent visit to the historic Marjorie Kennan Rawlings home near Gainesville, Ron pointed out many of the comfort features of old-time Florida homes. The house is really three units, living room, kitchen, and bedroom. The little uh, connection between the bedroom and the main part of the house is a critical feature. Mrs. Rollins, in her need to update the house, uh, converted what was once a small breezeway into a bathroom. But its original intention was to separate each function of living into separate wings and to let air move freely between them. The way these broad overhangs uh, here in the bedroom wing protect not only the windows but the walls from the sun's uh, direct uh, heat gain. Uh, the way the house is raised up off the ground to let cool air settle underneath it and to be able to draw that cool air into the windows at night. The fact that this whole wing of the house, really probably the best part of the whole house, is just one room deep so that there's air coming in on one side or the other, regardless of what the wind conditions are, and always cross ventilation in the bedrooms while you're sleeping at night. We'll notice as we move around the house, for instance, that the kitchen is entirely separate wing, disconnected from the main house by what was called a dog trot in those days. Uh, still is a nice feature of any Florida home. Air movement and shade are the two critical features of living with nature in Florida. With the cost of energy going up, Ozzy said there's a renewed interest in living side by side with nature. This is Mort Beach reporting from the Marjorie Kennan Rawlings home in Cross Creek.